Assalamu alaikum, I am back with application security.io OWASP top 10 for APIs. Today we are going to do security misconfigurations part 1. So let's start it. So here we are with the CoinPay website. So this exercise is two part series on OWASP top 10 security misconfiguration. It has two parts, part 1 and part 2. To demonstrate how misconfigurations may impact the security of your application, today we are going to demonstrate the click jacking attack and further introduce the importance of using content security policy to prevent these click jacking attack. Okay. And in the part two, the content security policy would be configured, but not, uh, it would be actually misconfigured. Okay. And Bob would still be able to bypass that security checks. So let's start with this. So, uh, Alice as the CTO of CoinPay has hired Bob to check its newly launched two step verification feature on the CoinPay. So let's go. So, uh, Bob has created, Alice has configured Bob a single test account also. And also Alice further gives Bob his own a credential to verify if two-step verification is correctly working or not. So these are the credentials of Alice, not Bob, to check if it 2FA is working rightly or not. So when he logs in, the Bob get this page that enter the code for two-step verification of from this mobile phone. So However, before we continue to explore how Bob can find a way to bypass CoinPay 2FA, let's review Alice CoinPay setting page to understand how 2FA is configured for her account. Don't assume that this is doing uh, the Bob has somehow got the access of Alice account. This is to show us that how actually the two step verification is configured on the Alice account to better understand this concept. So here it is. It has a feature of to disable the two step verification over here. And uh, this uh, right now on Alice account two step verification is enabled. So let's go back. So uh, Bob tried for the click checking attack. In the click checking attack, the Bob will first create this HTML page. Since Alice has provided Bob with his own CoinPay test account, he's able to review CoinPay's two step verification page and discover a vulnerability to maliciously disable the two step verification for any user. To exploit this vulnerability against Alice CoinPay account, Bob first built a malicious web page. So this is a malicious web page. It's not actually very malicious. It has for a simple header tag. It's mimicking the cookies consent form that I want to save the cookies on your site. I do, will you allow me or not? The simple pop-up we get in most of the websites and you'll have the accept button. Okay. And then there is an iframe, the main thing, the main malicious thing on this website in which the source is of CoinPay. The, uh, the iframe is used to render the other websites on your web page using this iframe to embed the HTML, to embed the website. You'll have to pass this source value of other website. And here you can see that we had set the opacity to zero so that we can hide this iframe. There would not be visually because we cannot visually see that coin, CoinPay has loaded. Let's analyze this code. It is a fake cookie consent banner message. The web page also contained two HTML button tags named accept and learn more and customize. And then there is an iframe button and then there is an iframe to load this CoinPay website. CoinPay is two factor authentication page. Okay. So let's move forward. Now the opacity is set zero. The iframe will not be visible on the page. So let's move to the next page. So now the Bob has to host his website. So assuming that this is happening on the local, uh, local host. So he has up, so he has launched the web server next. Now we are going, now the Bob is going to send the fake page link to the Alice and ask him to open this fake link. So now when so now when the Alice has opened up this page, it is looking at this fake cookie consent banner with the Excel page and nothing wrong with this page, but you have an extra thing over here to understand there is a slider through which you can increase or decrease the opacity of the iframe. Now you can see if you decrease the opacity, Okay, you have decreased the opacity. Now you got the iframe of CoinPay and when you will click on this accept button. This accept button would not be clicked because it is on the backside of this coin pay iframe and your click would be captured and the click would be on this disabled two step verification. And in this way, the two step verification of Alice account would be disabled. Okay. Let's move forward. 
Analyzing Bob's malicious web page in the previous tab revealed how the accept button of the website cookie consent page overlaps exactly with the disable two step verification button. So these two buttons are actually overlapping disable two factor authentication and accept. This technique whereby a web page is loaded by an iframe and subsequently covered with deceptive content to trick a user into invoking an action on the underlying web page is known as click checking attack. This is what we call as click checking attack. So when we'll click over here except we think we are clicking on the accept but in fact the disable to authenticate two factor authentication button has been clicked and clicking the accept button doesn't seem to work you click here as many times as you want to but nothing is happening over here so having repeatedly tried to get past the cookie consent banner alice abandons her attempt at signing up to bob's mailing list and closes her web session okay so this is what happened so let's see if the two factor authentication of alice account has now been disabled or not to paste over here let's log in click on the login button okay let i think i have entered the wrong password click here for this and then add password at one two three login now the two-factor authentication had been disabled and we got the access to alice account now let's move to the next thing so to mitigate against click checking attack, developers must configure their web servers or load balancer to include X frame options header or content security policy header. Both X frame options and content security policy response headers define whether or not a browser should be allowed to embed or render a page in iframe. For example, setting X frame options deny will prevent browser from rendering your web application in an iframe element. So what happened actually? the coin pay had not set these headers nor the content security policy and uh, they also had not set the x frame options to deny so what happened someone else has hosted his domain created an iframe embedded the coin pays web page on their side set their opacity to zero so that that would not be visible and click jacked the click of any malicious user like bob here and surpassed or circumvented the two-factor authentication of Alice. So this is how you are going to set on Nginx X frame options. You'll have to add this line, add header X frame options, same origin always, which means that I frame is allowed, but only when the domain is the same, which means that if the URL on the upside is also same in our case, it was crypto news and the I frame was of the coin pay. So the I frame this scenario is not allowed by this header and if the domain is actually the coin pay and inside the coin pay there is some area where iframe is required so that would be allowed by this same origin policy and on the apache the setting is header always set x frame option same origin if you are not want to do this you can set this content security policy and set it frames to only the same domain a website can state that it should not be rendered inside an iframe by providing HTTP response header X frame option. Okay. Next thing, there are two values supported across browser. Deny would not load website in iframe anywhere. And in the same origin policy, it allows displaying of the pages in the frame that have the same origin as the page itself. Both options will prohibit Coinspace site content to be embedded in Bob's fake cookie page, therefore preventing the malicious effect of his accept button. Here is how to configure Nginx to include the X frame option. We had got the two lines. This one is for Nginx and this one is for Apache. And we can also set the uh, content security policy to prevent click jacking attack if we want to on a particular domain. So this is all from the today's lab. We'll meet you in the next lab inshallah. Allah Hafiz. Jazakumullahu khair.